welcome to the video series uh, and this week's video. Um, today we are going to talk about how we can get our heels down. We're going to go over three exercises. Can you just back up please? We're going to go over three exercises that will help stretch our heel down. As you know, your, your heel and your leg are really your base of support in riding. So it's really important that you've kind of got that base secure. So today we'll do three exercises, thank you, um, that will help you work on that. So this exercise is actually something that you can do at home. You can use a pole, you could use a four by four, um, you could use your stairs at home. You could just stretch them down. It is all about stretching the tendon down so that it's more available to you when you ride. First exercise is actually going, we're gonna do before we get on our horse today. Uh, it's just gonna use, we're gonna use a mounting block. We're gonna stretch our heels down. You can do one foot at a time, both together, and you should feel actually right in here and right down here stretch out. Okay, you can bounce up and down if you like. You shouldn't have your foot too far on the stair. You can walk up the stairs. You can do it however you like, as long as your heels are getting stretched down. All right, so we've covered before we get on, which is uh, stretching your heels on the mounting block. Now we're gonna cover um, stretching our heels down uh, by standing up in our stirrups and doing that at the walk or the halt. Okay, so the next exercise is actually just standing in your stirrups, just like this. You can stand up like this when you first get on, maybe. You can do it at the trot. You can use to stretch them down. Okay, so now that we've done uh, the mounting block and then the stretching it just standing and at the walk, we're going to do our two point at the trot for our third exercise to stretch our heels down. I'm going to ride by the camera and I'd like you to really think, look at my heels and see how they're going down with the motion. Good. So now that we've stretched when we got on with the mounting block, we stretch at the walk by standing up in the stirrups, and now we're going to work on the two point. So again, we can use the knee for balance. Get our heels really down, our chest is up. All right, well, now that we've actually done uh, the three steps, I think you'll find that your heels are stretched down a little bit farther. It really is all about stretching them down each ride. So start each ride with the mounting block, stretching them down for a minute. Then maybe standing in your stirrups at the walk. Don't forget to hang on to some mane for balance. And then thirdly is our two point and just stretching them down, allowing them to breathe with. The one thing I do want you to caution, I do want to caution you about is actually just the length of stirrup. So, if your length of stirrup is too long, it's going to be very difficult to get your heel down. Much like you will see dressage riders, they're not riding with their heels below their toe by very much, if any. Hunter jumper riders, you'll see that our heels are always below our toe. When you're thinking about your heel down, you can think about stretching your toe up instead, instead of pushing the heel down, um, or you can, if you're having trouble, I want you to check the stirrup leg. When you get on your horse, when you first get on, your stirrup should feel a little short because you haven't stretched out your leg. In riding, we are one of the sports that not very good at stretching before. Yeah. You'll see basketball players, they warm up. You'll see baseball players stretch before. You'll see swimmers stretch, but you very rarely see a riding a rider stretch before uh, getting on. 